onto his nose and yet again oh they're horrible this is why they have to wear fly masks because of this but yet again Tizzy and Qantas have broken their ears this happens all the time and if only someone could invent a fly mask with like replaceable ears because these bits are always fine but they all, it's always the ears that go Dan repairs it by like taking the strand out of Bale of Twine and redoing it um, but today we've got the horse dentist. So all three are going to have the dentist. We thought we'd uh, take you along to, to see what happens and see the dental charts afterwards. Experience when you're doing a bit more work. If you're a bit more sleepy, you don't have to fight against it. It's much more chilled, relaxed. Okay. So Qantas is going to have some of his teeth smoothed out because they're a bit sharp and they'd be hurting like the sides of his gums. Wait for all the gunk this sort of me. Then they did it super. Rush out the so you can have a look. There must have a bit come out then. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that just make me happy. Ha <laughs> 
might look harsh, but if he really didn't like it, he wouldn't just stand here and take it. He's looking pretty good. Yeah? Oh, well, that's good. If he was doing loads and loads of work, I'd say we'd do a little bit, but yeah. he's not. No, um, he's avoiding if we, that. If we do him in March, yeah. I think that'll be absolutely fine. Because oh, I doubt he'll be doing much no. until then, anyway. Ew. Other kinds of things. <laughs> You even by then, he might he prefer might not be, yeah. something else. Yeah. <laughs> no, absolutely. Like, not recovered. Yeah. Teeth all done. So Azid didn't need any work at all, which is really, really good. Um, Tizzy needed a flush out, so she's lost a few teeth. So sometimes the, the food gets stuck um, in the gaps and kind of ferments there. So you had a flush out, make sure the gums were fine. She didn't need any rasping either, which is really, really good. Um, then Qantas, because he's a baby and he hasn't had his teeth done kind of as many times, he needed a bit more work. So he got sedated and he's still a bit snoozy. Um, he'll be waking up in a bit. So we normally get horses done, their teeth done once a year. The reason that domestic horses need their teeth doing is because they don't graze on as many different forages and as tough stuff because they have really soft grass and hay and things to chew on so their, their teeth don't act the same as it would in the wild um, and Tizzy is on every six months because uh, she's older and she's got more issues and things so we're just trying to keep on top of it so she keeps her weight up and we get to have her around for as long as humanely possible um, so yeah we won't see the dentist now again until March and actually all their mouths are looking really really good so I'm super happy with that and tomorrow is time for the farrier morning farrier time wait because he's got the slowest walk known to man <laughs> these two are like come on I would kind of run you through their feet because um, all three of them are slightly different. So Tizzy, all, all three of them have tiny feet. Um, Tizzy, is, I love her feet because she has like different colours on the diagonal. So she's got like a black diagonal and a white diagonal. Her feet are pretty tough, like they're really good, but they're never even. So they're kind of different sizes um, and different growth rates front and back, but she's sure to make up for that. Um, and keep her as kind of natural, balanced as possible. Um, then Qantas, he's probably got the worst feet out of all of them. He has to be shod more regularly as well. Um, and his kind of splay out a little bit. They're not that strong yet, but they are getting way, way better. Azid has the best feet out of them all. He's a super tough, really good shape, not susceptible to like abscesses or anything. Um, his really, really good feet in the farriers always really like them. So feet are quite an important part of endurance. If you start off with a horse with really good feet, you're onto a winner already. Because you're gonna do a lot of miles on them, they're gonna take a lot of concussion. Um, and if they've got kind of nice, nice soles and a, a good frog, then you're less likely to kind of have issues with like stepping on stones, out on course and things and slipping. <laughs> Boys. So make sure your farrier likes your horse's feet and you're onto a winner to begin with. What is he doing to you? You just don't like the loves, do you?
Ooh, I might. Steel. steel. Yeah. The same as the shoe. Yeah. Shoes are made from a, a mild steel, yeah. so they're not uh, not too hard. It's all in the middle, really. So that obviously the harder the steel, the uh, it'd be like ice skates. <laughs> yeah. You know, and if they were too soft, you know, they'd wear too quick. So yeah. a mild steel, just perfect, just gives that bit of grip, really, when they're on the roads and, and what are the nice easy. The pins are tungsten. Yeah, so the tungsten pins, and uh, they don't they don't wear out at all. So they obviously that's what gives you the grip on the road. Yeah, they make such a difference. Yeah, 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 they do. A lot of the uh, horses that do a lot of road work, you know, yourself and uh, and the hunters. Yeah. Some of the heavier horses, the shires, you know, the pins work really well. They also uh, they also keep the keep the wear of the shoe a little bit longer as well. We've got one that knocks shoes out quite quick. The pins just help to hold the shoes out a little bit longer for the shoe cycle. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't it? Probably due to the uh, excess blood supply that's going to the injury. Yeah.
and then we'll wait for it to soak in for the aftershock. Shoes all done. Tizzy and Qantas have their road pins in, and now I'm going to give them a treat. Pre pre Dan existing. Qantas is already like, oh, come and get it. Um, pre Dan existing, I didn't really treat my horses at all, but he is a big softy and likes to get them treats all the time, and they particularly like these ones, as you can see. <laughs> so, seeing as they've all been good, they've got two each left in this packet. Well done. Do you want another one? Are you excited for another one? You can't have it off him. Hey? <laughs> They're all gone. They're all gone. 